into a child's playroom, which I insisted is completely practical. In the end, he had to acquiesce. I did not give him any choice in the matter. I even bought this wonderful wooden crib from the antique store yesterday, including some toys. Just in case anyone brings the baby, of course. Besides, we have a little need for actual guest rooms. We hardly have guests who spend the night. We absolutely have to. We often choose to foot the bill of, for their visit on one of our hotels instead, always at Luke's own insistence. And on the off chance that we actually had someone stay, the bedroom in the opposite wing is still up to the Oh, task. no, no. We proceed with that room as planned. I already agreed to him having his greenhouse and his vineyard and his stables. He may as well let me have this one thing. No, I did not agree to him having a helipad. All right, then. An helipad? Well, do we have any other concerns? Anything we need to put on our agenda before the party commences? No, I don't think so. Not unless Luke has anything else to say. Is he around then? It'd be best if we can note down his request right away considering the scope of his usual ones. Around no. Where is he? Who knows where? I don't. No, he's not around. She did not have to point out the obvious now, did she? After seven long years, I'd already gotten used to him. I should be by now. You're not the parent. But don't you have a party? I want nothing more than to complain to whinge about how unfair this is. However, airing out one's dirty laundry is simply taboo among high society. Do so will make you a, rip, a ripe target for the next dinner party chit chat. Vultures, a lot of them, really. Most of them, at least. There are always good ones like Rochelle. Put your trust in the wrong person and you'll find yourself eagerly picked apart. Mm, yes. But Luke's just being a sweetie, you see. That friend he's visiting. He's having marital problems and he's just trying to cheer him up. Perhaps. I am being a bit too rash. A bit too hot headed in diverging details. But I too but I thought myself clever with the plan to dress it up as gossip. Marion's raised bro make me unsure whether she is interested or not. Although that does make things better if she has no interest, therefore has no hidden intent to utilize whatever I might say to They've her. been married for a long time and they've hit a how do they say it? A rough patch. His wife has a drinking problem and can be very neglectful. The poor thing really does his best to be a good husband. But it's never enough for her. Sometimes I think it's the years. Maybe it's been so long that they've lost that romantic spark. What do you think? What do I think of the matter, ma'am? No, what do you think of my hair? It feels so lifeless and dull today and that's no good for a party. What? And I think I'm breaking out into zits. Now that you mention it, there is something different. There better not be something on my face. I wouldn't worry about that. You do look a little paler than usual, ma'am. I apologize if I'm crossing any lines here, but have you been resting properly? No. Huh. You think I get a bit tanned with how sunny it's been lately. Don't you worry. I feel right as rain and never better. But back to the matter at hand. You were asking for my personal opinion on the matter, ma'am? Do you want me to be honest, or...? Of course we want you to be honest. What the hell? Be honest with me, Marianne. I don't need someone to sugarcoat it. Achievement unlock real talk. I'm not some fragile thing that I'm just going to break down at the slightest thing. She hesitates, taking a sip of her coffee while I stare into my own cup of tea. Silence stretches on, and I almost believe that she will never answer my question. I suppose that I should not blame her, putting her in a tight spot like this. Her hesitation is understandable, though I love to admit it, she simply wants this whole thing to stay professional. Then she speaks. If I'm going to be completely honest, I need to ask. This is about you, Mr. Wright, isn't it? 
It's my turn to hesitate now. I really did not expect such a straightforward question. And to get to the heart of the matter? I suppose I'm not as clever as I'd like to think. Or is it really that bad that an outsider can see our little marital troubles? Surely we are not that obvious, are we? We've put up the act of perfect couple for years, although it had not always been an act. Marianne is just more keen than the average person, of course. It is a necessity to our career, and she's been working so closely with us. Yes, that's Suppose it, it is. What would you tell me? Then, I tell you it's none of my business. I tell you that I don't want to meddle. But, if the troubled husband with the neglectful wife asked me for my honest opinion, I'd say that he shouldn't base his happiness and his self-worth on someone else. Someone who won't even give him the time of the day. Maybe he should try being independent for a while. See what it's like when he isn't trying to please someone else and doing things for himself. Everyone's supposed to be their own man or woman, right? But that's just my two pence worth, of course. Shit, I skipped, sorry. So you're saying we... they should divorce? Nothing as drastic as that. If they're afraid that it might lead to just that, then maybe that is what's meant to happen in the first place. We shouldn't let our fear control our lives. But it's just a short hiatus, is all. Or, you know, couples therapy? Look, I'm really not the best person to ask about relationships. So grain of salt and all that. It's raised off. Having said her peace and leaves nothing but the smell of coffee and earl grey between us. There is a calm despite the nature of what has just been discussed. To say that her words make me start to think it is an it, it, it think is an understatement. To say that I'm not considering our advice is a lie. And to say that this might just be the calm before the storm is a possibility. Others have I had Short of marriages, yes, but plenty have celebrated long and happy ones as well. My own parents celebrated their core anniversary before they passed away. But seven years? Seven years is not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. It is not a whole lot of time to see what and where our relationship can bring us. And at the same time, seven years, well, it hasn't been entirely made of, of unhappy years, has it? It won't last forever. It's not supposed to anyway. I just read the thought that it might last for a very long time. I read the thought that these small spats, these little disagreements, would turn into a, an all out resentment. The idea that we'd grow to hate each other with every fiber of our being scares me. I can't even pinpoint the exact moment when our blissful union turned sour. When did he start to seek other women, lacking any ulterior motives? When did we start to cooperate only to suit our materialistic greed and invention seeking ways? Money and success, fame and glamour. Are those the only reason we will stay together? <coughs> there is a cough before Marianne clears her throat. I must have been quiet for so long, and I've been and I move to apologize when she stands up. We both end up on our feet unsure on how to proceed. Some sort of hot, awkward shuffle occurs as we decide whether to sit back down or not. I really should handle what's left of the work. You won't be attending the party? Oh, you really must, Marianne. I'll try to stay in chat. Maybe grab a few bites and a drink, but I can't be around for the entirety of the event. My apologies. Busy, busy, busy. You must stay a while. I'd love for you to meet some of my friends and they're ever so excited to meet you. You need to say hello to the Lees, at least. If it wasn't for them, I'd never even heard of you. We'll see. So, if I can be excused? Certainly. You'll have to excuse me as well. I must attend to the party before any early birds arrive. Because, believe me, they will throw a fuss if things aren't ready even when they're not supposed to be here until an hour later. The scene outside the parlor is a great organized mess. Aside from our own household help, we hire the service of a temp agency which provides staff for right enterprise in the hospitality sector. Even us very skilled staff cannot undertake a party of this side on their own. Waiters, 
busboys, hostesses, and the staff captains move about in droves, carrying crockery and serveware, good for several dozen people and then some. Chefs and bartenders tail after Johans, looking like scared little children as he escorts them through the kitchen and into the wine cellar. Peruse the stocks to select what can be served at the party and what can be used for cooking. Snail. We have a lot to do and I believe we did not hire snails. Snail! Snails are for the dishes. A string quartet readies up to play for the evening, tuning the instrument as they fill the air with idle chatter. The world decor with thousand field faces, wreath and basket. Is it wreaths or wreaths? Uh, I'm sure. And baskets. While petals are scattered along the driveway up front. A nice sculpture of a reindeer is brought in carefully by a pair. It is followed by a simple cake, just a five tier white chiffon, one with white chocolate mousse, fresh berries, and a light dusting of edible gold leaf. Despite the fact that I told Marianne all I will attend to all of this, I find myself unable to focus or care for any of it. I still have our discussion, discussion running in my mind, and looking at all of this, I only see Luke everywhere. These are all the grand things that Luke wanted to have for the party. Uh, I, uh, I had wanted a small, elegant, and separate gathering, only a select few invited, namely the people who I would actually trust to enter my home. I did not want any bloody politician or paparazzi in here, no matter how I, how used I am to gathering them. At least be here for your party. Damn it, Luke. Oh my god, it's not gonna be here. Entire thing screamed Luke, right? And I can't help but add another question to my growing list of queries. When did I lose myself? It's always about him nowadays, isn't it? What about Hannah, right? What about Hannah Evans? I used to be my own woman who made her own name, her own career, and her own decisions. Sure, I was already the social butterfly that I still am today, but it was not all empty, shadow gossip and sitting pretty. I was also loaded for my knowledge and talent. Finance manager wasn't just handed to me, just because my father owned a company. I had insisted that I start at the bottom so I could work my way to the top and prove myself. And I did. I worked numbers. Manage budget, money, and accounts, analyzing competition and market trends. There was the calculation of financial risk, cost reduction, opportunities, auditor liaison, and public relations supervision of staff. And uh, I generally had a huge slew of responsibility. Damn that girl! That girl is good. Admittedly. I was already quite the attention seeker even back then, having did it, did, dedicated most of my youth fearing for my parents' approval. Failing that, failing that, I turned to others, looked for praise from anyone who would give it, however fleeting it all was. Luke? Oh, look. The way he looked at me, the way he watched me and took a genuine interest, he had me this Disgustingly obsessed since day one, hasn't he? He saw me for me and our heavens, both my faults and my achievements. The man did not treat me like some damsel in distress or some prize to be won. I remember the nights before we were married, where we talked about everything and anything, from big things like business, society, and philosophy, to little things such as what we had for breakfast or whether we liked it cats or dogs more. We both prefer dogs. Nowadays, I'm just look right's wife. It's mostly my fault, isn't it? They told me that husbands prefer the wives who are docile and subordinate. A woman will always be there for him, yet I would never outshine him in all aspects except beauty. 
A wife needs to be at home and attend to his needs to have children and to take care of them in, a, in his absence. He said, I have no business 